Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where I'm gonna share with you items that I thrifted from my closet, items that I'm loving right now that I paid retail for, um, but I wanna share. And so many people have been messaging me since my last video about my skin and how it seems to be glowing. Um, so I, I'll share with you the items that I've been using for that. But uh, before we do that, of course, I want to give a shout out to Anna Luisa for sponsoring another video. They have been so sweet to me. Um, they provided me with some more uh, jewelry that I, of course, gladly accept because I love jewelry, as we all know. And they're a sustainable company, so we like that too. Uh, I'm just going to share a couple pieces with you that they recently sent to me, and then we're going to jump right into the items. There's not a ton of stuff that I have thrifted for myself lately. And uh, I think it's because I've kind of like been focusing on some other things. Like uh, there's some new items that I needed. There's, you know, new skincare items that I needed for my routine, new makeup that I ran out of, things like that, things that cost a little bit more. So things that require a little bit more money, a little more investment. Um, and I also have something that I'm using on my phone today that I'm going to show you as well. Um, so if the picture looks a little different, that's why you will see that in a minute. But anyway, let's go into Ana Luisa. So Ana Luisa sent me five pieces of jewelry. I'm going to share the ones that I'm wearing right now with you. And my favorite one that um, I'm wearing is, I don't know if you guys can see that, this is the Rowena um, bracelet. Don't mind the little scratches on my hand. Um, Christmas decorating and pine trees. Not a good mix when you have sensitive skin. Um, but anyway, this is the Rowena bracelet. So this bracelet was actually created by Marina from uh, Beauty Within. If you guys watch that YouTube channel, they talk about skincare and um, Korean beauty. One of my favorite channels to watch. So this is actually her bracelet that she designed with them, with Ana Luisa, which I love. It's very dainty and very much into the whole dainty jewelry bit. Um, very pretty, very classy. It's a little floral, floral design. So love that. Next up is this ring right here. This is called the Chloe. So if you guys can see that. Um, this is just, I don't really own a ton of rings. So long story short, um, many years ago, like eight, nine years ago, our house was broken into and all my jewelry that was that I inherited from my grandmother or gifted to me from my grandmother, my parents, my grandfather, all gone with the exception of like two or three pieces. Um, so I don't have as many rings as I once had, so I was happy to have something very simple and casual to wear. And then next up, I'll come in really close here, this necklace right here. This is a two-piece um, called the Heritage Necklace. Very happy with this. I, I like simple chains. Um, as much as I love diamonds and all the pretty things, I also really love simple chains. So I found this really pretty design here on Ana Luisa. The length is good. They're adjustable, and that is called the Heritage. Um, they know they have a really great Cyber Monday sale that's going to be going on tomorrow, and I'm sure they're going to have great sales going on um, throughout the holiday season. Plus, I have a coupon code down below, so if you're looking for a holiday gift or something for yourself, feel free to check it out using my link. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about what I'm using on my phone right now to film this video. So, I really want to invest in a camera for YouTube. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while. I just haven't done it. Um, it's very expensive. It's an expense that um, I don't feel like I need to make right now. The camera that I'm looking at is on sale right now, but it's still $800. Um, never mind the accessories and things that I need. So it is a little bit out of budget. <laughs> and when I say a little bit, I mean a lot. Uh, so I was just perusing YouTube. I, I just searched like the best iPhone attachments for um, filming YouTube videos and kind of like the whole starting out on YouTube and wanting to have a better quality camera. Now, the camera on the iPhone is great. There is no way around it. It's a great camera, but I have a 12 Pro um, and the new 13, uh, iPhone 13 has a cinematic mode on it, which is even cooler. Uh, so the phone cameras have come a long way. However, there are instances where I would like more of a wide lens shot um, or a micro lens shot where I'm coming in really close on different things if I want to show product. So with all that in mind and all the research that I did, I went on Amazon and I found this um, lens that 
was highly rated on Amazon. I mean, there's some mixed reviews. Some people had negative experiences with it. They didn't like the quality, but as you can see right now, the quality is really good. The lens, you're getting a nice wide angle shot of everything. Um, and I feel like the picture quality is okay too. So I'm going to share it with you guys. And then if you'd like to um, purchase it for yourself or look into it, you can use it for, for photography as well. I'm using it for specifically YouTube right now, but I might use it for photography pur purposes. Um, I'll leave a link of this so you guys can check it out. Okay. So I think it's pronounced Zenvo, X-E-N-V-O. And it comes with this little case here. It has a micro lens, which you can use. Uh, to zoom in on items, like and look at specific little detail, or they have a macro lens, which is what I'm using right now, and this is to give you that wide angle shot, which is really great for vlogging and their foot me's, like that kind of thing. Um, so what's really nice about this is it comes with a cloth to clean your lenses with. They easily attach to your phone, which is also really nice. I would show you that, but I'm filming and I don't have another device to show you. It just clips right over your lens, which is uh, easy enough to do. The assembly of it is really <laughs> easy. It comes with tutorial videos to show you. Um, it comes with this little USB. Now this is for a light that they provide to you, um, which I have attached on top of my phone. So it's, it's an LED ring light essentially, which is really nice. It's really great for uh, micro photos and you really want to get in at specific detail. You have a nice LED light for that. Um, I also have a bigger ring light that I'm using. So if I want it, let's say I didn't have this big ring, ring light. Let's say I'm doing a thrift with me or something. I could carry around this little small one. I will say the wide angle lens is pretty big. Um, so it's a little bulky. If I'm going to do a thrift with me or I am taking this out and doing vlogging, um, it, it's noticeable. <laughs> There's no way around it. Uh, but it, it seems to be really great quality. This is my first time testing it out. And uh, I'll uh, definitely end up testing it for other things as well. I like to do landscape photography and things like that. So um, I'm really interested in seeing how all of that comes out. The price of this, I believe, was $44. I think it was on sale on Amazon, but I'm sure they run specials all the time on these things. So I'll leave the link if you guys are like me and you want to invest in a camera, but you don't want to spend the money <laughs> and you want to give some other things a shot. I mean, $44 is cost effective for me. It's something that I can afford um, and it's something that will get lots of use. So I'm looking forward to using it in other videos and seeing where we go from there. All right, that's electronic side of everything. Let's get into the thrifted things that I have for myself. I honestly don't have a ton of stuff, but there are things that I have used, you've seen me use in videos, and you've seen me um, have it on in Instagram stories and whatnot. So the first up are two hats that I thrifted. Um, they were, one was $3.99 and one was like $5.99 and I had 20% off. The first one is this faux suede neutral taupe toned um, hat. It almost has like a purple mauve hue to it. Uh, it's just it's just a hat. I think this is H&M. Yeah, it's just an H&M hat. I love hats. I think hats elevate outfits, especially on the weekend when I'm doing more of a casual bit, right? Um, and it matches everything in my closet, which is also really nice. We had that. The other um, hat that I have here is a faux leather hat. This is a no name. It, it doesn't have a brand or anything, but I really wanted a faux leather hat. I didn't want um, anything that was too shiny, but I wanted it to be shiny enough where it would match my faux Spanx leggings, you know, little things in life that make me happy. Um, but so I found this guy. He was $5.99. So we added that to the collection, which I've already worn multiple times. I've gotten compliments on it. Everyone's like, oh, I love your hat. Where'd you get it? Um, the thrift store. So there's that. <laughs> Didn't get any more fancy. Um, next up are three pairs of leggings. So I generally wear Lululemon leggings. I have some Athleta leggings. Um, I have some Girlfriend Collective leggings. But really, Lululemon leggings is what I generally wear. Um, but I wanted to try Everlane's high-rise, um, high-performance leggings. These I got on Poshmark. I got three pairs from the same individual. And I got them in, a, and they were all new with tags. So these I haven't worn yet. 
These are in like a purpley deep color. It was like a purple gray, I guess you could say. Then I got them in this deeper purple color, which I have worn, and then I got them in a gray. I've only worn the gray once, and I don't think I'm a gray leggings girl, but I'm gonna keep them because you never know, I might end up wearing them more often, but I definitely gravitate towards these, these purple color leggings. I wear these all the time. Um, I really like them. They match most of the things that I own, which is I think why I wear them more often. And then these I just haven't dug into yet, but I'm definitely gonna be wearing these more purple gray colors as well. Each pair of leggings cost me $15, which was a nice little deal. Plus she gave me discounted shipping. So I was happy with that. Um, overall, the Everlane leggings, they're okay. I mean, they're not, I wouldn't personally work out in them. These are leggings that I like to wear when I'm lounging around the house or if I'm going to run errands or something like that and I want to wear leggings. These are the kind of leggings I would go for. Um, do I reach for them as much as my Lululemon leggings? Not really, but I do like them. I do like how lightweight how lightweight they are. I do like the way they feel. They're a great legging. They're just, uh, they're not a performance legging. That's just my honest opinion. As a previous competitive power lifter and someone who works out, I would not wear these to work out in. I would wear these more to like lounge and just hang out in. But I do like them. So if you're thinking about trying them, look on Poshmark. There's definitely some really great deals on Poshmark on these leggings. Um, to find them new at Tag was just a perk. And, and I got the extra large, I believe. I think they only go in extra large. I don't think they come in 2X. Uh, oh, no, these are the 2X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. I had one pair that was an extra large, and they, and they fit. Um, but then I ended up getting the 2X because I just wanted a little extra room to be honest with you. I just like a little extra room sometimes when it comes to my leggings. So that's what we went with for that. Um, oh, I'll save these for the end. I'll show you the two pairs of shoes first and then I'll save the good stuff for the end. Um, these are a pair of dance goes that I thrifted. I think when I first started reselling, it's been a while and they were sitting in my inventory and they weren't getting any likes or anything. They were in my size, they were size 40. Um, and one day I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take these out of my inventory and I'm going to start wearing them. I'm going to pull them and I just want to wear them. They're, they're chunky. They've got a nice chunky heel. They're dance co. They're comfy. They're in really great condition. I grab these more than any other boot that I have in my closet. I love them. I wear them to work. I wear them out. I wear them casually. I just, I, these are definitely one of my favorite boots. I'm not sure if the style name is in here. Let's see. If you hear a noise in the background, that's just a kitty playing. Can't help that. Um, no, there's no size. Um, no size. There's no style in here. So I can't tell you what the style is. But they have a little side zipper and then a little tassel detailing right here. So I really like them. I, you know, I, I don't own many dance goes, but I have one pair of clogs that I really love that I paid retail for. Um, but to thrift a pair that are trendy and they got the chunky heel and they're comfortable at the same time. I liked that. I like that these are multiversal. I can wear these in the spring. I can wear them now. Anyway, dance go boots. These cost me $7.99 when I thrifted them and I had 20% off. So these were a steal and the fact that no one bought them was like a sign that I should just put them in my closet. Or at least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> Do you tell yourself that too? Because it makes me feel better, I guess. Next up are these boots that I found at a consignment store. As soon as I saw them, they caught my eye before I even turned them over to see what the brand was. And if you caught a peek, and you know what this is, this logo right here, this is Patricia Nash. Um, I don't own any Patricia Nash items. I know their handbags and their shoes do really well. These were new without the tag. Um, as soon as I saw them, they reminded me of the Christy Dawn boot. I don't know the name of it, but Christy Dawn makes a boot that's very similar to this. Um, I love the color. I love the like antique look to it. As you can see, I've only worn them twice. So there's hardly any <laughs> damage done to the sole. Again, side zipper here with the lace up detailing. I 
paid up. I paid 15, which isn't really paying up when they were brand new. And then they were for myself. At first I contemplated selling them because it is Patricia Nash. But then I kept looking at them and I was like, mm, I think I really want to keep these for myself, especially since this style of boot is hot right now. And other companies are selling very similar boots in very similar color schemes online for two, three, four hundred dollars. So um, I haven't worn these often, but I will say they're very comfortable. I wore them for our, uh, my anniversary dinner when Matt and I went um, out to eat. And then I wore them to um, a function at work with a dress. But I have been wearing them with dresses. I haven't worn it with boots, uh, with boots, with jeans or anything. I've only worn them with uh, dresses. I have a long Percy Dawn dress that I wear them with. Anyway, love these. My first Patricia Nash purchase. For a really great price, $15, really can't go wrong for a brand new pair of boots. And it made me happy. Next up, I'm going to remove one piece from this handbag. But I'm someone that loves classic black handbags. I like handbags that are simple. I like handbags that are intricate. I like quilted. I like pebbled leather. I like anything leather. I made a little rhyme there. Um, but I do not have a black crossbody handbag. I used to have one, got rid of it eons ago. Um, and I was in the market of purchasing another one. Well, I went to a thrift store and I found this beautiful Kate Spade uh, pebbled leather crossbody. I think I show this in a haul. It's got like these little marks right here, which I just need to put some leather conditioner and... Um, a little polish on. This was $5.99. I mean, it's got this pretty little tassel. It's got this extra pocket in the front, which I really like, which I can store like my phone and my keys or something in. And then it's just, you know, your basic crossbody. It's got a couple little compartments in here. It's very lightweight. I can adjust the strap. Um, it's something fancy, but when I go thrifting or when I'm just out shopping in general or just out, um, sometimes I just like to have a lightweight crossbody to wear. It's easy, it's functional, it's practical, and I feel like everyone should have a little black leather crossbody in their life, whether it's faux leather or real leather. Um, and the price is really great on this. You know, someone probably paid $100 or more for this crossbody. And I just got it for $5.99. So we love adding pieces like this to our closet. You know, and then when I get tired of using it or I want to upgrade to something else, it's very easy for me to just list this on Poshmark and then use that money to buy something else for myself, which is kind of like the beauty of this whole, this whole series that I make of thrifting items, using them for myself. And then eventually when I'm tired of them, I'm just recycling them again and I'm being sustainable and I'm allowing it to have another home. Um, so that's the handbag I've been using recently. Next is, uh, this Chloe Faye wallet that I found on Poshmark. It's, you can see here, it's got, it's got a little dye transfer and it's, it's a little worn, but she's in good condition. Uh, I'd actually say it's in excellent condition. I mean, when you're looking at it under the light, you can see the little marks, but it's, it's beautiful. I love it. I wanted a bright, bold wallet. Um, I have a like plum colored wallet from Coach that I purchased. I have black wallet. I've got a taupe colored wallet. And I really wanted something fun and bright and something that was a little bit bigger that I could almost use like a clutch if I'm going out, especially during the holiday time. Sometimes you don't feel like bringing a purse um, when you're going out to eat or something. So I liked this where it's got the same Chloe Faye vibe, like the, um, the mini Chloe that I have that I thrifted as well. Um, but it's the red wallet. This was $60 with free shipping on Poshmark, which is a total steal. Um, I love it. It's big. It's versatile. It's got this beautiful front pocket right here, which I obviously have things in. And then it's got this little zip. And then we have the wallet on the inside. Um, it's I like the this accordion style. Then you've got the zipper here for coins. And no back pocket, but that's okay. Um, and it's really interesting. It's not a full accordion zip. So it zips here, zips up here, and then it stops. Um, but yeah, this was, this was a really fun purchase. I was going to sell this when I first got it. 
because I was like, $60 is a steal for this item. You know, I really could flip it and make some money. But then the more that I looked at it, the more I was like, I can't part ways with you, Chloe. You need to stay with me. You guys know I love Chloe's um, items. I love Chloe perfume. I love Chloe everything. So I needed this in my life for at least this season. And then we'll see where we're at. Once the holiday time is over, I might change my mind and decide I want to sell it. But as of right now, we're going to keep her and we're going to love her and we're going to use her as much as possible. So there's that. And then the last piece I'm going to show you guys, like I said, there's not a ton in this video. But this is something I should show you the box first. This is something that um, I've been on the hunt for and not necessarily this brand. And it's something that I wanted to add to my winter collection of items. So I've really been on the hunt for black leather gloves. I have a pair that my mom gave to me many years ago. It was like a hand-me-down, um, but they're starting to rip and they don't look nice. They're from the 80s and there's nothing wrong with that, but they're just starting, the leather's starting to rip and peel. So I really need a new pair. And in New England, or in any cold states, <laughs> you have a variety of gloves. You have gloves that you wear when you go out. You've got gloves when it's snowing out. You have gloves that you're just wearing because they're fun and they're pretty and they match your outfit kind of thing. You know, it's an accessory. It's part of your style. Um, so I was searching on the Real Real for leather gloves, and they had their 80% off sale. Uh, that's, I believe, still going on for the holidays. I think it's 85% now. And I came across... Max Mara black leather gloves. Now, the I had recently looked on Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack, and the Max Mara, these exact Max Mara gloves popped up um, in the cognac color, which I still might buy, but I'm on the hunt to find them thrifted. Um, and they were $210 retail, no sale or anything like that on them. Then I saw them on the Real Real, and they said they were in excellent condition, and they were a black leather pair, which is exactly what I wanted. Well, when I got the Real Real box in, I had no idea that they were going to, first of all, be coming in the original box. So I immediately got excited because I thought, oh, are these new? But then I noticed, like, the box has some wear and stuff to it, so it's probably not new. They just sent it with the box. But then I opened them, and now I've worn these a couple of times, so they have creases in them now. But there were no creases in the box on the glove in the box. There were no creases on the gloves at all when I was looking at them. So here they are. I am so excited. They are so soft. So they are black leather on the outside, and the inside is cashmere. And here's the tags, which they're very bulky and they drive me crazy but I'm not ripping them out. <laughs> um, but these are them. They're so pretty. I'm so excited to have these. There's no, this is just a little decal. There's no like emblem or anything on it. These are a seven and a half. I probably could have um, tried to find a, a size eight in them, but seven and a half actually fits me just fine. I'm just thinking if my hand swells for whatever reason. So here they are. They're so soft. I'm so happy with this purchase. Um, and they only cost me a hundred dollars with shipping. So I can't be mad about that. I did not use credits. I could have used credits. Here's the little real, real tag that comes with their items. So this says an expert behind every item. This item cannot be returned once tag is removed. So this is their tag that they use. So if you remove it, which this wasn't attached, it was just put in the um, item but they inspect it obviously. And then you can't return it if it looks like it's worn, but aren't they so pretty? I'm so happy with this purchase. They're so comfy. Um, they're exactly what I wanted and they're from a brand that I really love. So I really couldn't go wrong with that. And they were only a hundred considering that they were on the retail website for $210. Um, it was, it was a good deal. And honestly, I do think these, were new, maybe worn once, um, maybe just like tried on kind of thing because the tag is in really good condition. I mean, everything about this item, the box, just shows to me that this person probably never really worn them or maybe wore them a couple times and decided, you know what, these aren't for me anymore and didn't want them. So yeah, these are my new items that I have thrifted and, or bought for myself. 
Now, if you're done with the video and you don't want to watch the rest of it, I totally understand because I've already showed you all the thrifted things and I showed you a couple little accessories, right? Um, the next part of this video is for those that were interested in my skincare and what I've been using. So I just want to briefly show you guys that. This will not take long because there's not a ton of items, but I will gladly show you the skincare that I have been using and uh, we'll share that with all of you. So I've been on a skincare journey the last few years because my skin has turned extremely sensitive. It's always been sensitive, like that's nothing new, but it's turned even more sensitive as time has go gone on. Um, I have rosacea, I have, um, I have a little bit of rosacea on my cheeks, I have eczema, I've always had eczema my whole life, I was born with it. Um, it has moments where it's really great and then it has moments where it's awful and I can't tolerate it. So to find products that are sensitive and clean and don't irritate my skin is a project to say the least. But over time, I figured out what works for me and I've done a lot of research and I've really tried to stay in the clean beauty realm. Um, two of these items are not considered, sorry, three of these items are not considered clean beauty yet, but they are trying to get the clean beauty stamp. And I think they're in the process of getting the clean beauty stamp. And the rest of these items are part of clean beauty. So. Long story short, what have I been using on my face? Um, I use a sensitive skin bar soap on my face right now. Um, I have found that when I use certain cleansers, my skin cannot handle it. So I actually go to a local um, individual who makes sensitive skin soaps, and that's where I purchase those. So um, I can't show you them, but um, I mean, I guess I could, but she doesn't have an online shop or anything right now. So I didn't include it in this first part. The other items that I've been using, so wash my face, use the skincare bar. My next step is then to use this item right here, which is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. It has actual rose petals in it. Um, and I use this first and I can feel it when I put it on my skin, it's really moisturizing because my skin over time has now become dry in certain areas and it just happens with age. There's no, you know, no way around it. Then go in with this product right here, which this is a sample size, which the woman was so nice to give me at Sephora, but this is Kiehl's, and this is a new product by them. This is the Fru, uh, Frulic, Frulic Brew Rejuvenating Facial Essence. Um, essence is something that you use after your toner, helps soften your skin and hydrate your skin. So we use this, this is brand new. I will say this does make, make my face very soft. It also brightens your face, great to use under foundation, highly recommend, there's that. Once I'm done with that, I then go in with this other fresh product, which is the Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serums. This is um, water and oil basically put together. You need to shake it up, put a few drops on your hand, and then put it on. Wait for all of that to dry. I then go in with the Kiehl's Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. So I can't use regular retinol. Um, this is Kiehl's new product where it's a microdose, so it's not as much. I'm still getting the retinol effect, uh, especially around my eyes and everywhere else where fine lines develop, but it's a microdose, so it won't irritate my sensitive skin. So we have been using this. I've been using all these products for about a month now, and I, I mean, you guys notice a difference, and I definitely noticed a difference. So I'm very happy with all this. I will say before I move on to the other products, I have three more to share. All of these items right now are either on sale on the company's website, on sale Sephora or Ulta, or Sephora and Ulta have gift sets right now of all these items. That's how I purchased all this. I purchased all this in gift sets, uh, with the exception of the free sample that was given to me by a Sephora uh, rep for Kiehl's. The rest of this was all in gift sets, uh, which is always great because you're getting full-size product with smaller size product, and you can kind of mix and match and all that fun stuff. So. Some of this stuff is expensive. I mean, there's kind of no way around it, but now's the time if you're looking for skincare and you want to try something new, if you're a bargain hunter like me, look around the holiday time, look for gift sets, and the companies are all doing sales right now. So moving on to the last three products. Once my retinol is on, I let that seep in, and then it's um, nice and dry on my face. I then go in with this product right here, right here, that came out weird. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I will say two things about this. One, very moisturizing. If you're like me and your under eye area gets really dry, especially when you have makeup on, this is great. 
Um, I use this in the morning, I use it at night, and I also use it during the day. So throughout the day, sometimes I notice when I have concealer on, my under eye area is like one of the first places it gets dry. And I think it's because I have dry eye too, so I'm constantly rubbing my eye, which is really bad for wrinkles. <laughs> but regardless, I will put this on during the day. I'll just take a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like. It's green, like avocado. I take a little bit on my ring finger, pat it in, and then I just kind of dab it very lightly around my under eye area, and it kind of rejuvenates the area, which is really nice. So if you suffer from dry under eye, like me, and your makeup looks weird sometimes, highly, highly suggest that. Next are the, these two last products that I want to talk about. This one is the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. Um, this is something that I was just Googling one day, like, what can I use my face to brighten it and not put makeup on or brighten my makeup without having to use like some crazy chemical filled primer. Um, and this item came up. So I use this either under my moisturizer, which is this guy right here, or I put this over my moisturizer and then put my makeup on depending on what I feel like doing that day. So this, this LMS Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer is actually really fun. So it comes in this little droplet type of a container. You really don't need a lot, like pea size maybe. Put it all over my face. And then I go in with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This I use morning and night. This is really hydrating. And it hydrates, I think, for 24 hours is, I believe, what I read. But this is the moisturizer. Just want to give a little shout out to that guy. Um, but with this, okay, so like today, I put this on and put moisturizer on over it. Then I knew I was filming a video, so I wanted to put a little bit of makeup on. So I have um, a tinted serum on right now by Ilia. I have a mascara on by Ilia. And then I went in with this Elemis Superfood, and I just put it on the tops of my cheeks right here, like a highlight. So you can use this as a highlight, which I really love. So it's definitely multi-versatile and it's clean. And I just like that it gives you a glow without having to put a ton of makeup on your face. Cause sometimes I just hate the feeling of all that. And then my skin doesn't get happy with me. Anyway, I'm rambling about skincare, but these are the items that I've been using. All of these, like I said, were purchasing gift sets. Um, one was a free sample and I just love the results that I've been getting. So for those of you that were asking for me to share that, there are all the items that I've been using. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, I don't know, you're as excited as I am about some of these items that I'm adding to my closet. Like I said, not a ton, but that's okay. Um, and if you are interested in purchasing any of Anna Luisa's jewelry, feel free to click the link down below. And I will see you guys next time with a what sold video we're going to combine all of our sales over the month of November on Poshmark, on eBay. And we're going to share the things that sold. Poshmark was not so great. <laughs> it's been mostly eBay. Actually, it wasn't a great sales month in general for me. But we'll talk about it next time that I see you guys here. Bye.